Nogi. Um, so today we're gonna look at details on the rear naked choke. So um, I thought this was super simple, but you know, there's always some questions out there. So we're gonna look at some of the basics of setting up the rear naked choke because I've never actually seen anything on YouTube or anything. Um, so it's really good to cover something like this because you know, what I consider like something basic and like super easy, it might be hard for, you know, someone starting out or maybe someone hasn't seen the details like I have or you guys have. So we're just gonna look at some of the basics on how to finish the rear naked choke. So let's begin. So guys, we're here on the back. So we're gonna work the rear naked choke. Um, and I've covered how to use the hooks, how to turn the person over. You guys can look at the, my last video for that one. Um, so I'm here on the back. So just some basics of the rear naked choke. Um, the rear naked choke, it, it's a blood choke. So it should be putting pressure on your carotid arteries. These are the arteries that take blood from your heart all the way to your brain. So you need those, okay? And um, a lot of people, um, they don't really do a full blood choke. It's almost like a windpipe choke. So if, if, it, if someone ever does a rear naked choke and it hurts, that means it's more of a windpipe choke. If it's like, if you, if they do the choke and it feels like pressure, that's, that's the blood choke. That's what we want. Okay. And, um, to set that up, it's really important when I get my rear naked choke, I need to fully extend my arm all the way around his neck. Okay. So look how my arm, my bicep sitting this side and my forearm's going to hit this side and both parts of my arm are putting pressure on his neck. A lot of people, when they do the choke, they kind of go short. So you see how my elbow's over here? That's kind of a telltale sign that it's, it's gonna be a windpipe choke. And I might be able to finish here, um, but you know, there's some really tough people out there and they can withstand this. Um, so if I wanna do the, the choke the proper way, I wanna get my elbow right in front of his, his neck, okay? And that's gonna assure that I get the full choke. All right, guys, so not here on the side. I want my arm all the way extended. Okay, and um, so that's the correct positioning for my top arm. And I think a lot of people have questions about the back arm too. And so I see a lot of different grips. You know, I'll see like grips with the person grabbing, the, you know, their opponent's head, or I've seen like, you know, they're holding the elbow, you know, like in the movies, they do the rear naked choke like this. And, you know, I've seen like, you know, all types and manners of chokes. So um, the best way to set up your choke um, so once I've got my top arm in, I, I want to control my bicep on my other arm, okay? And that's because when I control my bicep and I start to bend my arm, that locks my arm in place. If I don't have this grip or I have some alternative grip, it's going to be easy for him to pull my arm down. i pull my arm, uh, this arm. Yeah, there we go. And, you know, someone's, they're defending your choke, you know, that's kind of like the fight or flight response. They're going to hold on very tightly, you know, Ugh, it's going to be very hard to get my arm back. So once I get this clear shot, I can't afford to lose it. So I'm going to grab my bicep and look with my hand, my, my free arm. I've seen a lot of different ways to do this, but I want to keep the back of my hand on the, on the back of his head. Okay. That's the best grip. Um, and that, that works because a lot of times if, if I go with my hand the other way, he can pull that hand off. Okay. It's, it's also slower. Okay. And, or sometimes, you know, maybe his head's very tight to me. I can slide my hand in this way a lot quicker versus this way. Okay. And, um, you know, that's a really big detail in finishing the choke. You could almost have the choke all the way in and then they reach behind and they pull that out. Man, it's, it's gonna be very hard to finish. Um, some other things I've seen, I've seen where guys will, they'll get this hand in and then try to sneak their, the choking arm fingers in. Um, but sometimes I, they get caught before they can do that. And uh, it's gonna be very hard. So again, I wanna anchor my arm, my my fingers into my bicep and lock it down, okay? And from here, again, the back of my hand goes behind his head. So that's one way. I can also slide it in. So that's the way I prefer. I just like to slide it right in. And when we go to finish the choke, a lot of people, they wanna like open up. They wanna open their body up. But I wanna compress everything in tight. All right, guys? So once I've, I, once I've got my choke, I'm here, look, I'm gonna 
pressure my elbows in together as I squeeze, okay? As I squeeze. And if I'm doing the choke on someone that's smaller, I, I don't have to stay on my bicep. In fact, I'll start to slide this arm up higher. And look how it tightens, it tightens the choke, okay? So if I'm going on someone smaller, you know, um, instead of being here where it's more loose, look how I go up my arm. And then uh, this part's gonna be the same. I slide this in. And as far as the finish on this side, I can just pressure into his head, or if I wanna finish black belt style, I'll grab the other, my other arm, okay? And again, elbows together, I squeeze. All right, and that's how you get the finish. All right, guys, hopefully this video helps you. So again, finishing, finishing the rear naked choke is really important. It's probably the strongest move in jujitsu, you know? Um, you know, arm bar is really good, triangle is really good. But if I had to pick one move to like rely on, if I had to show like one move to a friend to help protect them or help them win a, you know, a fight or something, I would show them the rear naked choke. So hopefully this video helps you guys work on your finishes. Until next time, peace out. Ciao.